Well, here we are at Gank, straight after the second session of the Senior Max qualifying. Ed Brand, you're at the top of the timesheet for now. How was that session for you? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, we got the first two laps, I felt comfortable with the car, and the third lap I knew I had to go to get the ultimate the tyres, and just managed to hook every corner up right, and everything felt good, and I managed to get a really good lap time in. I think you're a lot faster than the first session was. They said it was a little bit slippery. Yeah, obviously there was some rain over the well, some rain in the last couple of sessions, and so obviously that was going to be a bit slower the first session. So fortunately, I was in the second one, and obviously still another one to go. So we'll see if they go faster. Some really good drivers out there in your session. 90 drivers overall in Senior Max. Now you have the fun job of watching the third session. How are you feeling? Yeah, I think I might just sit in the cap and watch this one and watch at the time boards and see how it goes. I've got a little bit of a, a margin on the others, so hopefully they're getting that and. But I hope I'll stay at the top. Okay, so we'll be watching as well and maybe we talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with another one of the drivers from the Senior Max session, um, Ben Cooper. Now, Ben, we've seen you here, European champion, world number one in Rotax Max. Then you went on to win the KF2 at the WSK. Now we find you back here, sitting eighth in that session. How was it to be back in the Max at Gank? Yeah, it's good to be back in the Max. I feel like I'm back home. I've been doing this series for, for a number of years. It's, it's, um, it's really sort of a great series for me. I, I love coming here. It's like a family atmosphere. And um, the, the qualifying didn't go too great. We're not too far off, um, off of most of the field, apart from Ed Brand is very quick, but it's too expected. Um, now, I have, a, have to ask you this, I have a question. From when you won the European Championship, you raced here as a junior and a senior with the RGMNC. Has it changed at all, the racing? Um, I think it's a lot more competitive. I mean, when I first started, there was always probably five or six drivers that could win it. Mm -hmm. And now there's any number of sort of 15 to 25 that can, that can win the race. Mm -hmm. um, especially the seniors. I mean, every class here is oversubscribed apart from the Masters. It's, it's, it's unbelievable the amount of support the RJMMC lot have got with this series. And I think it's one of the biggest attractions for a lot of the people is that there's so many people here, it's so competitive and it's really the best in the world for, for the road test racing. And I remember you've been here, you had some not so good luck and yeah. then you had some brilliant luck and you went on to win, become yeah. the world number one. Now the competition's better. How do you see your chances? As good as anybody else, I think. Uh, I think I've, I've matured a lot more as a driver and as a person. Um, I think this, this is going to help me with a lot more experience. It's not always about being the quickest. It's about, about using your brain and, and coming through the race as well and making sure you finish all the heats and, and get your positions right for the finals. Um, hopefully we can do this and be over there and on the final on Sunday. OK, we're going to let you watch the last session of qualifying and um, we'll probably see you on the grid tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. OK, last year's round four winner at Genk, Sean Babington. You were in the first session today for the Rotax Max Senior qualifying. Yeah. A little bit slower than the second session. Uh, yes, I think it was. Um, well, this morning we had a bit of uh, rain, like drizzle, and it made the track a bit green, I think. So I don't think the track was too good. It maybe took away a bit of rubber or whatever. But um, yeah, as it's, as it's gone on, as, as it's gone on, the session's got a bit quicker. Where more carts are going down, more tr carts are on the track, and more rubbers going down. And so it's making it a bit better. But yeah, I got, I got second in my group, which was quite good, I suppose. Yeah. So. But you've had the speed in practice. I know that you've been here for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so are you quite happy going into tomorrow's racing in any case? Yes, I am really, yeah, definitely, really confident. We've been so quick in practice, like, so, yeah, it's, yeah, looking forward to it, really confident. We also saw this at the Winter Cup, that you came from nowhere up, you had a little bit of bad luck in one of the races, yeah. and in the finals, you were right there at the finish line. Yeah, it was, yeah, I had a lot of bad luck there, really. I got, got cr crashed in the pre-final and the third heat, but managed to sort of come through and get the top three. So I think everyone will be watching because last year was your first senior race here yeah. at Gank and you blew away the competition. Yeah. So yeah. Are you feeling confident? Yeah, very. Yeah, I, I really, I really like this track. It's a really nice track to drive, and I think I'm really quick around here. So, yeah, very confident. Looking Anyone in particular that we should be watching out for? Uh, Ed Brand. There's a, a couple, couple of quick runs. And uh, Kanskar, Barton. Quite a few people that could be very quick. So yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll be watching and good luck tomorrow in the racing. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You. Okay. Okay.